Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our fixture tonight. We have In Flames versus 9Z. Knife just being one out. Well, I imagine we'll see a swapping of sides as we have 9Z starting on the CT side. In Flames, I had the opportunity to cover them earlier on. They were relatively successful, able to make it to this point in the lower bracket. Overcoming the lights of Redemption, TRZ, and EOX. And while 9Z just emerging as the losers of the game against Isaris, launching them into the stage of the lower bracket. We'll have to see how Inflames perform on Inferno. This is their respective map pick, so... Just see how comfortable they truly are. Some early damage exchanged by Fran over towards Banana, but comes out the loser in that endeavor. Down to 36 HP, and Inflames are setting up for a hit towards the A side. A bit of control over towards the Arches will be gained as a result of that smoke thrown by DZT. And for now, 9Z are still kind of lingering in over towards this B-bomb site. They've got three players in that position. They'll rely heavily on both... That graveyard and pit position to be successful. Rustic thrown out of position by the Molotov. The smoke will give him a bit more space to play with, but Fran gets chased down. They even find the kill onto Rustic as he took Sanctuary in the smoke. And although NBL was close enough to rotate, he had to jump through the smoke to be... Or to have any real effect before Inflames actually get this bomb planted. They still have a smoke available and NHL is on the long flank, but... They just don't have the ground to work with. ZQK can even find the timing perfectly. NHL clearing out the boiler. Never going to be able to win that duel given how ZQK aggressed. And they're actually on for the team ace. If our men had found that kill, it would have been one kill respectively for all T-side players. But Lucan's just trying to secure his exit. Bring this kick smoke into the next round if possible. Gets one, but... Nothing more than the one frag on the retreat. East TC actually went, actually went down to the bomb as well. So, some additional damage gained onto that inflamed side, but they'll still come away the victors of the round. The bomb plant as well means they have additional cash to work with, and 9Z are instantly going to force by right back, seeing if they can battle in the early stages to maybe topple what inflames are bringing forward, especially given that this is a large or a majority SMG by the fact that head armor is so prevalent on the CT side could certainly be a factor. Damage done towards Fran and towards the apartments. The MAC-10 should be able to finish off this kill relatively easily. There's a secondary player there. Drastic just dodging the bullet might be able to capitalize. RMN's been dropped. He's Got himself a MAC-10 to play with. This is an additional smoke in the apartments as well, so if he'd thrown that in towards middle, he could have potentially retrieved that. But more time for 9Z to make the correct call to where they should hold the majority of their defenses. Maybe a bit of a contact play in towards middle. Showtime's still running distraction, using utility over at B to keep these players here. You can see NBL, he had thought about moving back towards A, but as a result of that smoke, he will stay in S8. Z has found the opening pick they needed to. This is the round, likely one here from Inflames, as that bomb can get planted so early, and before any of these 9Z players can make it anywhere close to the site, that they're not even going to contest it. Happy to hold on to the kit, the flash, as well as the armor that all these players have. Pistols are certainly nice too, but... Have to see whether Inflames chase them down. Given that they sustained so many casualties in the pistol round, and they weren't able to upgrade to head armor at a marginal cost. If you, Obviously, if you don't sustain any damage to your regular Kevlar, you can... Get the helmet, no problem. It's an additional $350. So if they had had a few more players that were able to do that and stay alive in the pistol round, then you would have maybe seen them on a bit more aggressively with these SMGs. But the pistols will still be brought forward for 9Z. The 
We'll see how they can make use of this flashbang. I'd be interested in seeing what whether there's a call to go for some sort of a play over towards the B-bomb site or A, respectively. You'll see where NBL's positioning. Yeah, the, every single CT will line themselves up. NBL positions himself ready for a flashbang. He has the Koshfin flash primed and just waiting for the right call. Molotov in towards top middle. That's going to be a kill there from Lucan. Flash one not even needed. Just purely peaking showtime. And that's no weapon eliminated. The secondary kill's not going to be quite so easy. Not hitting the headshot means that DZT can spray him down at range. That's being done here by SHC. He's just trying to contain them over towards that B bomb site, but he has the bomb spotted. If NHL finds this kill, that's very dangerous. There's nobody here for in flames. They need to now retreat and be in full recovery mode. ZQK, that kill is going to be absolutely crucial. But can he get to the bomb in time? Can he do so without sustaining too much damage and going down himself? Because again, there's limited trade potential. He's pulled for reinforcements. The flash will give him a little bit more space to work off of. And DZT will make sure that the round is secured. The bomb will make its way over towards the B-bomb side. And NBL... He rotated away from this portion of the map. Looking to reinforce the A side of things. Hoping that Inflames would go into his path. But now that he's heard all this utility deployed on the other side of the map, now he'll move forward. Now just making the rotation over. Armin and DZT look to lock it down in the two versus one. An AK was dropped in this position earlier on, so if NBL had been able to get his hands on that, that would have certainly been beneficial for this retake situation. But given that he can still buy up into the following round, regardless of what happens, I'm going to try and do as much damage as possible. He does still have the kit. So could have tried to make a better go of this and actually win out the 1v2, but he should be able to do suitable damage with DCT. Ducks under that crosshair of NBL and as a result will dodge the bullet. DCT, four kills in the round, still yet to die for the inflame side. And although that was just saved pistols and standard issue pistols being brought forward from the CTs, that's very dangerous. You can see Inflames are taking isolated engagements and just hoping that the superior weaponry will triumph. And it almost costs them. And now this is where things get dangerous. 9z have proper weaponry to play with, but ZQK, he doesn't care. Pushes past and just behind the flames over Banana, finds the opening pick. Okay, that nade is not where they intended for that to go. DCT takes a brunt of damage from that missed utility from his Orper. It will take control of top banana. Mario player there to contest it, and meanwhile over at A, SHC has found a kill as well. In flames have options now. 9Z are likely to likely to hold this position, which they have a fast rotating player, and one towards each of these bomb sites. Let's 9Z go for some sort of a stack, and that seems to be the call. They're taking a gamble, hoping that if in flames go towards the B bomb site, they'll be here in numbers, but it's actually the other site they need to be concerned about. This is a good call here from 9Z. It won't work out for them in this instance, but it limits their risk. If it is, if it does end up being the A bomb site. You've got more places in which you can hide and save these weapons successfully over at B. There's a lot of trade potential and a lot of angles that need to be cleared up close for in flames. They can't contest the plant. They won't go for the retake either, but they'll at least have the peace of mind that they took a chance. It won't pay off in this instance. If they'd gone towards B, they, they would have likely put up a suitable fight, put it a little bit closer, but... We'll see if these orgs can be brought into round number five. A 
There's damage on towards Luke. Fantastic. Oh. Able to get one. Luke is still standing strong and he's going to be able to hide off the back of it. He can't really push too far forward without risking an open opportunity for that Coffins player to peek up. So they don't chase him down. Two orcs are brought forward. And in flames so far, still relatively uncontested. I would usually like to interact with chat if possible, but given that you guys are seeming to just be having a good time, having a bit of discussion between yourselves, I will leave you guys to it. Try and remain civil where possible. And just enjoy the counter strike. If you have any questions for me personally or about the game, uh, preferably in English, because my Portuguese is severely, severely lacking. Or Argentinian. I, I, everything is, everything is difficult for me. English is all I've got. In flames, in spite of the force by here from 9Z, they've made short work of both the B-side defenders, but MBL's equalized. They've brought it to a three-on-three. The post plant will be fully realized, but 9Z are still here. They're close and actually close enough on these rotations that they're going to go for this. NHL smoke towards the top of Banana so that they have less angles to be concerned about as they push on forward, but all of their utility is now gone. These, the smoking towards ZT is still a huge nuisance, and NHL is just trying to run distraction. He's just trying to bait the gaze away from that coffin's position and it's a one for one exchange zqk still on the bomb site there with the awp and he's gonna be alone rmn and zqk both get their respective kills they were isolated engagements and in flames overcome the force bite do wonder if there's been a small miscommunication on the 9z side because everybody or NHL, Luke, and NBL have all bought up, but there's not enough cash floating around for brands or Rustic. They have to subject themselves to the XM and MP9, respectively. Just so that everyone's economy is in check. A good nade in towards the top of Banana does significant damage on towards Lucan, but there's a gap in the smoke that they can play with. If Inflames try and peek around this, this is likely an easy frag for Lucan to be able to pick up. Molotov close, DCT's trying to find the timing, but Lucan doesn't clear the close angle. He thought the flash would have been enough to allow that type of a play, and DZT gets both. NHL is at least still lingering towards this site. NBL, though, can only get the first. Before he's smoked out of position, the Molotov will be met as well towards Garnet. NBL still pushing ahead of it. He's hoping to catch them out by cheating past the flames. DZT, oh, unfortunate timings back and forth. NBL jumping above, but DZT thought he'd fallen back. NBL can now take a position on the side and get into an unsuspecting angle. Fantastic job from him so far as that rotating player towards B. SHC will throw a Molotov to try and flush him out, but he burns in the flames. Fran will get dropped as well, and Rustic, all alone, was looking to contain them towards B. They knew that was where they had to go as Rustic had the fallback. Now still two more players to find to bring... The first round to fruition for 9z. Keeping forward, SHG spots the edge of him, and that's going to be three kills for him. In flames, still yet to drop or concede a round in this first half of map number one. And you'd have to think if the next gun round goes amiss for 9Z, they're likely to call a timeout. They've tried a couple of things on the CT side and the way that they approach Banana, but this has primarily been the issue for them. The singular piece of the map has been 
a tough contest so far. Inflames seem content to continue taking fights in that position, and although they will sometimes lose bodies in doing so, the B side defense hasn't really been strong enough for 9Z. Predominantly B focused and NHL and NBL can't get anybody on the cross. The smokes will still deny information for now as this bomb does get planted. planted. Towards middle, it's RMN in an isolated angle. Look towards bottom B. He'll get the first. What does he suspect Rustic emerging from the underpass? This should be an easy kill. Yep, AK recovered. He can bring that into the next round if possible. They've got enough cash that they can afford up a buy regardless of what happens, given that they did just buy up pistols in this one. And BL gets one before he's submitted to the grave as well. But a nice little bonus there for Rustic. He now has the flexibility of essentially dropping over an ult. Such that the AWP player can afford more utility around that big green gun. I'll have to see what they decide. They're actually going to pause before their next gun round. So this is a, a line of thinking that you, you want to cut off the mistakes or at least adapt to your mistakes as early as possible. And so with this being a fairly leveraged round, I mean, this is one away from being an inflames half guaranteed. They will look to prevent that in a change in their setup. There's everybody on the CT side with a kit, so no need to recover or stray from your traditional retake route. Should it get into that type of a situation? And it's usually at about this point where, thus far in the qualifying games that I've witnessed, Inflames will show a crack. This is the potential for that at the very least. Good models have damage onto DZT, down to 52 health. Off and it's the boost in towards the boiler that catches them off guard. Showtime and ZQK still alive and kicking. Do answer back with two frags. Showtime's going to establish some control over towards Banana before those rotations hit. Throw the utility necessary to feign some pressure over towards that site. But 9Z are fully rotated away. They may actually not commit off the back of this just because they know how open that B bomb site was. And this rotation back in through middle and the A bomb site is going to be the correct call. Rustic is the closest contesting player, but even he's not going to be close enough to stop what's to come. The bomb planted for ZQK. They know that there is an AWP still on the site. Of course, one of them could have cycled that over in favor of a rifle instead, but smoke has gone down towards Modo, and that will delay things. As we mentioned earlier, that the kits are prevalent for the CT side, so I'm less of an issue. Now they'll commit on forward. The Naden towards Rustic significantly weakens them up. The Molotov does so much, but Showtime has to pull it off all by himself. One versus three. He gets one. They cannot convert on the second or the third. 9Z will finally get their first round registered in their name. But it's a costly one. A full reinvestment needs to come out from the CT side, but as a result of Rustic saving over that AK in a previous round, he has an additional weapon that he can drop over, and so the buy is perfect for the CTs, but they have to fight back against what is going to be another full commitment from Inflames. Showtime gets one. Traded out by MBL and his retreat is fully molotoved off. They know he's trapped at this position. The flash doesn't work in their favor. DZT spraying wildly. 
eventually tracks down the kill. Leaving Lucan alone at B. Very least he had utility to alleviate some early pressure. And Flames are not going to want to jump through that as may play right into 9Z's hands. Oh, Rustic, did he spot the head? That was a singular pixel of opportunity there for Rustic to get a kill in response and equalize the affair. The rule of low HP in the AWP swap will transpire. Could drop the name that's most associated with that rule, but I'll leave him be for now. That's actually not going to be what the call is for 9Z. They won't leave Lucan be by himself. Instead, Rustic is being trusted to lock down the A site. It's a slow approach for in flames, and 20 seconds remain for this hit to be successful. The smoke in towards Rodan. Even if rotations were here, they'd be siphoned off. And Fran is over at the arches, but he can't contribute. He can't get an additional kill, such that in flames would need to be too concerned about this retake situation. And 9Z are going to save. This is round number eight for the T side thus far of the Brazilians. And a lot of this has come down to the individual game. I'm sure, we've seen some great mid round performances from this in flame side. I think DCT's. The bomb is planted far from him, but. 20 HP, is that enough? He survives with two. It's fully calculated. He ran the numbers, he did the math, and he survives by the skin of his teeth. In flames. A great lead to start off this first map. 9Z. I'd look to see them get a bit more aggressive. They've been playing towards that top banana position a fair few times, but they've not looked to get too much more control in their favor. Quite often the CTs mix it up by going for deep banana control, and maybe that's what's on the cards here. NBL throwing that deep smoke, NHL looking to be a bit more forward facing. This is exactly what you want to see. ZQK takes a brunt of damage and Lukens found the opening frag. Heavy battling in towards the apartments and banana early on, and 9Z have come out on top. That's exactly what you want to see. They're going to move themselves away from those closely contested positions. Happy to hold on to the advantage that they've garnered in the early stages. I do... I am worried that this... Timing may not work out. NHL oh, on the boost. Showtime does so much damage, but NHL still stands strong. They get both the kills on the B bomb site relatively easily. It's the one kill as a trade for 9Z, but it's an equal affair now. With that bomb being planted, it's ticking and ticking away. Fran and Luke at least have a kit available. They have a Molotov and a smoke as well that they can deploy on this retake to potentially make things easier. There's a smoke drop in their path as well. Fran gets one, trades out the second. DQK though with the AWP will chime right back in. Lucan looking to hunt him down. He's going to make his way on towards the bomb site. Needs to commit to the defuse. And DQK is going to continue moving forward. Lucan has to get off it, but he has just enough time. And 9Z will win the round. DQK definitely concerned that the smoke may have provided some additional coverage. You see Lucan threw it in towards that gardens and construction rotation as opposed to just right on top of the bomb. And that meant that he could get off the defuse and take the fight. Another round for the CT side. 
They're non-consecutive, so... I have to be worried a little bit about the reliability of rounds like that. It came down to... The clutch for 9Z. A crucial 1v1. And they're almost running in flames out of their fuel. They've garnered so much cash over time. Oh, the double kill from ZQK. He needed to get that one to Lucan. That was a key part of the defensive hold for 9Z is they lost all of their early pressure towards Banana. If Lucan had been able to get that kill, suddenly falls back towards the site. They have the advantage themselves, but now they need to be concerned as they make these rotations and they're moving in through middle. SHZ has been completely bypassed. Rustic and Fran may get the drop on them. SHZ is not going to be able to contribute to this at all if 9Z do go for the retake, but it does seem like they're backing themselves away. Fran, oh, he's on the collision course. SHZ from up high. Will he be given an opportunity? Oh, Fran just gets the chance and spots his legs as he was on the balcony. Doesn't seem there should be any more fighting in the round. They're just sitting in the T-side apartments. Nice leisurely area. The walk-in kitchen. Nice little settee. And I'd again look for a 9Z to pull some timeouts. And you definitely need some more pressure in towards apartments and even feigning or going for an aggressive set of mid control could certainly do the CT side a lot of justice. But even just throwing a smoke towards middle such that those second mid players need to be a little bit more concerned before they get into the apartments can really throw T sides for a loop. Okay. DQK is taking DZT as a victim in the round. You have to imagine flashed up is likely why that's taken place. NHL able to get one kill before going down. RMN answers on the other side of the map and SHZ trades things out. The bomb was spotted and dropped over at B. And there's more than enough time to reposition. Showtime even upgrading away and into the AWP. My call from 9Z is to double up A. They've read this perfectly. Showtime will have recognized as well that they would have spotted the bomb and... Both teams making the call to make use of this side of the map. Showtime progressing on forward. Lucan, a little bit concerned about the flank from the B-bomb site. Should that be the play here from the T's? But he loses a site player in NBL. He gets dropped as he rotates in. And SHZ does the heavy lifting for the side. 14 kills for him thus far in the game as in flames get themselves up to double digits. One shy of his, his same fragging power is DZT. We've seen get a number of kills over towards the B side of the map. Meanwhile for the defensive, 9Z are all kind of hovering around the same amount of fragging power. Not many multi-kills being found from the CTs. Some very effective trading thus far from In Flames. Stack over towards the B site, DCT. Will try and make his way in towards CT, and that actually gives an AK over towards Rustic. This is dangerous. There's a gap in the smoke as well that they can make use of. Lucan chimes in with the kill on the Deagle, and they're going to feel a little bit claustrophobic here. 
The smokes are working against them. In spite of them deploying that the those pieces of utility very intentionally. That miss smoke towards CT was certainly not what they were looking for for in flames, but they will instead back themselves away and hit the other portion of the map. Fran gets one as his corner goes unclear. ZQK cannot chase down the trade as he knows that the cross is covered. Restic with the recovered AK shows up massive. Swift one tap onto ZQK. RMN is thrust into a one versus three and he knows where two of these players are, but he just cannot make it over there. At least not without exposing himself to Restic. He spots just the edge of Fran, spams him through the edge of the box, and now he can deploy the smoke. Modo will get coverage. Restic trying to peek before it blooms. He'll have to rendezvous with Lucan as Armen makes it to the site, but Lucan takes him down just as he attempts the cross. It's an unlikely round win for 9Z, but they pull it off nonetheless. In flames fall short of 11. And it's absolutely the missed utility that costs them on that T side, allows 9Z an open door for the next couple of rounds. They've got a decent amount of reserve cash on Restic and Lucan respectively. The two players that had stayed alive from the round just prior. In flames looking to make a play out of the apartment. A series of smokes to allow them pit control. They can get in relatively scot-free, but MBL spams them down. He gets one, does significant damage in response, but DZT at range with the UMP will eliminate him. No head armor, and so significant damage done on the initial headshots. And now in flames will wait. They'll allow these smokes to fade, and 9 are in a bit of an awkward position. They know that this pit has been compromised. The Molotov towards the back of the site will flush Fran out as SHZ springs into call and responds on towards Fran. Restic does well to get one. A very fast-paced kill to be able to accomplish, but cannot get more than just the singular frag. Now NHL and Lucan will position themselves on the retake. NHL. Looking to be the first point of contact here for 9Z. The Molotov will give up his position, but the flash on through may just buy him in a bit more space. Not being given the chances. SAC goes down. NHL, does he realize this crossfire setup that Inflames have in play? It's a very difficult one to crack, but they lose their respective duels. Inflames have, have done it and gotten up to round number 11. 9Z. Although they'd gotten a bit of a miracle round in the one prior in flames, make sure that it's one dialed home. And the question is, do we get to a 12 to 3 half? Rustic does have the AWP in play. It's a series of SMGs though for the 9Z defense and Showtime has fully won out the duel towards NHL. They tried to push past the Molotov. The nade had followed it up, done significant damage, and Showtime only has to fire off a couple of shots to make short work of that B-side pressure. Over towards A as well, SHC has won his respective duel, but they've pushed through the smoke and the flames. DQK, heavy pressure being felt, but Lucan gets both kills he needs to. Not committing to the reload, instead cycling out weapons to make it a little bit easier on himself. Not give up too much information to the inflamed side, and Restic gets the kill he needs to. RMN's been dropped, but SHC is going to cross as a result of his teammate's sacrifice. Again, another retake situation, and it's been pretty A-dominant in these past few rounds. 
Can Nainzi get to a fourth? They need to go relatively quickly as they don't have kits available on any of these players. Pushing forward, SHC gets the first. Lucan attempting a trade. NBL will jump up high, but dancing around the site is DZT. As Lucan attempts to descend, DZT gets both. Two kills in the clutch. Surviving on 2 HP respectively, some fantastic performances thus far from both him and SHZ. In Flames establish a 12 to 3 lead. And there are certainly arguments to be made in favor of it, this map being T sided at times or CT sided. I think you definitely see larger consistency from CT sides, just given how tough it is to take banana and apartments control as the t-side when utility is deployed effectively we'll have to see how things play out in flames winning the opening duel a lot of damage done to this dct as he attempts to escape but rmn is just gonna stay and fight at this position he gets two almost the third lined up lucan able to trade things out eventually but it's suddenly rustic in a one versus three some great shots being hit by RMN to enable the man advantage for Inflames and immediately taking fights as a result of being so far up into the game. They're not going to be shy of these duels as on an individual level they've certainly been outshining these 9Z players. This is the map pick of Inflames. But at the very least, that's the silver lining. This isn't the map that they feel most comfortable on. That will instead be Overpass. Nine Z. They went for the four spy, not thinking that they could allow for an opportunity in which that they go for the buy in the third round such that they don't have the rounds to play with. DZT does get two as they commit towards A, but they take the bomb site. No smoke towards Moto, however, means that ZQK can run distraction and pull the attention away from the flank. And although they do a lot of damage to ZQK, they cannot put him down. He gets two kills as they commit through. It hoped to get in towards Graveyard, maybe play a few more off angles, get the bomb planted as well. But that will not be the case. Nancy are in a situation now where they pretty much have to save and allow Inflames up to round number 15. And at that point, they would need 12 in a row. Unless we see something unthinkable. The Glock 20 out of round would only catch me off guard. going to quite allow that to happen. Pretty much a shooting gallery, both down middle as well as banana and flames. Looking so confident. They obviously as well have kept track of the 9Z economy, so they know that it would have likely been on either a half buy or just the pistols. At the very least, they had the information that it would be unarmored opponents, so very happy to take those duels. Well, let's see what 9Z are made of. Can they pull things back? DZT loses his supporting teammate in RMN based off the early second mid aggression. And 9Z are just going to give that one up. Rustic could have potentially pushed further forward. There's the bomb dropped in towards CT spawn, and that's dangerous. EQK has found a kill with the flames, and SHC is on a collision course. NHL still has the AK in hand. He'd thought about the possibility of there being a pushed player towards T spawn and that read will be correct. He gets the bomb safely in his possession. ZQK gets another kill. Ran was going to try and do his best to poke and prod in towards the B-bomb site, but now that's no longer on the table. 
the National Basketball League and the National Hockey League that try and let Nine Z another set of rounds. Now just hockey. NHL 1v3. Moving slowly towards the site. He doesn't have the most amount of time to play with. As he clears these angles, he'll likely get blindsided. Showtime delivers the finishing blow. And 16 to 3 will be the map score here on Inferno. Of course, this is a best of three series in the lower bracket. So now fighting to stay alive here in this close qualifier. Inflames already have the, mat, uh, the map advantage, but we now move 